Hey, good morning. It's David Dillard with the Sleep and Sinus Centers, and I'd like to talk a little bit today about allergy testing. Allergy testing is something that um, is very useful if you have chronic problems with either asthma or allergic rhinitis or allergic conjunctivitis and some types of skin disorders like chronic hives or some things like that. Uh, typically, most of the allergens that we test for are um, tested for things that we inhale, although certainly foods can be tested for. Um, and foods have an entirely um, complicated uh, method of making us sensitive to them. Uh, they are um, sometimes mediated by allergies like the person who's allergic to peanuts or shrimp when they are around it and have the immediate lack of um, ability to breathe, their, their, their mouth swells up or their, their airways tighten up and they have significant asthma. Um, those are mediated by IgE as are also um, allergic responses like um, like itching, watering, sneezing, runny nose, etc. Um, IgE is an immunoglobulin, stands uh, E just is a series of numbers, uh, left to right, they, a series of lettering uh, in the, the um, description of the immunoglobulins. And immunoglobulins are large protein compounds that trigger. Uh, responses within the cell and lock on to different shaped molecules around them to uh, allow us to determine what's going on in our uh, environment around cells. Um, it's part of our defense mechanism. Um, it's a hypersensitivity response and so um, we can look at um, that hypersensitivity uh, also creating um, other responses like cellular immunity. This is a, the most commonly uh, treated response and uh, it's the response that most antihistamines and uh, nasal preparations, decongestants, uh, nasal crom, nasal, topical nasal steroids is primarily targeted at this, this same sort of um, immunoglobulin response, IgE, um, eosinophilic, atopic, or some other names that are gonna be kicked around. And there's some subtle differences between those topics, but all of them are related to allergy and asthma in a way. So um, you can look at the immune response that we get to these topics as kind of your body's um, over um, active uh, uh, defense uh, rather like um, you know, a, um, uh, a, a cartoonish uh, uh, description of somebody um, uh, carrying hand lotion through uh, TSA getting attacked by the TSA um, the, the uh, TSA representatives, um, is, um, uh, although that's a serious topic in and of itself, um, it's, uh, it's kind of misrepresented in, in some uh, political cartoons or cartoons in general. So um, it's that kind of exaggerated response to what is probably not much of a threat that is uh, similar to what we're dealing with in our own bodies. So the, um, the allergies that you're sensitive to can be treated or avoided. Uh, inhaled allergies are a lot harder to avoid, but you can treat them uh, specifically by desensitizing the body. And that's generally the purpose of doing the allergy testing. So. Um, allergy testing can be done with needles, which is kind of the old school way to do it. You would inject small amounts of this into this, uh, the uh, dermal layer of the skin. Um, and you can do that 
where you can get a specific amount of how much you're allergic to it by diluting it. Uh, and that is a serial endpoint titration. And you take the same antigen and you inject you know, five or six times uh, to see how allergic you are to something. Um, and that's, uh, that's not done as often anymore. Um, but you can get a quantitative meaning. You can tell how much you're allergic to something uh, roughly. Um, you can take um, a little bit of it and rub it into the skin, sort of this, similar to a scratch testing. And that has been, to a degree, standardized with a lot of the sort of plastic um, multi-prick devices, um, the uh, multi-test form of testing, where there's a little bit of the, the substance that you're testing to see if you're allergic to, like tree pollen or grass or, um, or um, cat dander on the hair. Uh, dust mites, that sort of thing, and um, and those things are uh, pressed on the skin, and you can check to see how big the flare is, and it's a, sort of a semi-quantitative uh, method, or just see if you're allergic to it or not. Um, either, that is a, a reasonable way to do it. It's more inexpensive than the set testing, and the other way to do this is by taking some blood and sending it off for a blood test. And they use various methods to deal with that, um, you know, antibody-mediated testing or um, uh, radioactive tagged antibodies. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of different neat chemical tests, and, and that topic is is interesting, but uh, probably beyond something that's useful to you. But just suffice it to say, you can send the blood off. So that tends to be a bit more expensive. Uh, it is also quantitative. It tells you how much you're allergic to it um, and, um, and gets you in the ballpark. So um, the needles are not done nearly as much except for the drawing of blood, but it's a one-time stick and you can send it off and you get a pretty good idea of what you're allergic to. Um, and, um, and these things typically will have panels that are related to where you are. So if you're living, say, in the southeast or you're living in the northwest, the panels that they're going to test for are somewhat different because there are different things in your environment. So if you got tested in one region and you moved to another region, um, typically speaking, you may have several years of not having any problems. And then after a few years, you start to get sensitive to these things and you probably need to get retested. And the other element to this is that the tests will change over time. So we want to make certain that your test is reasonably current and up to date. Um, the, um, the people that will do this, sometimes your primary care doctors can do this. You can, uh, your otolaryngologists uh, and your allergists can all test for this and sometimes pulmonologists and a few other people. So um, very useful. Um, uh, technique very helpful and hopefully this has been helpful for you and um, we look forward to talking to you soon take care